These three dividend stocks are set to break out as the Wyckoff reaccumulation structure has been completed. So they are not only great for short-term swing trading because of the potential upside, but also great for investing if the yield of 2.5 to 3.7 percent sounds great to you. So let's get started now. The first stock is PBCT, People's United Financial. So at the first glance, definitely I see this is a commodity run up, creating this buying climax. So volume has been expanding on the way up. So subsequently, we have seen the chain shop character essentially just stopping this uptrend and into the trading range. And let's just focus on the trading range alone. So in this trading range, I see that there is a two attempt that to break below the swing low support level, but it actually found the support right there. And that is actually the gapping support you can see. And in this term, let's focus on these two reaction. So the first reaction comes with a relatively higher supply, but it did not really create a lot of the downside. Subsequently, this reaction acted as a test of the previous reaction, and that comes with a lower supply if we compare it to this. Okay, so that actually signal a potential phase C in terms of the white core phases analysis. So if this is a phase C, what we want to confirm is to expect a sign of strength rally, which we do see it happen. So that is a sign of strength rally where we see that this is the best rally out if we compare it to any time of the up wave. And subsequently, uh, right after the first test to attempt to break out of the previous uh, swing high resistance, it had a reaction. But the reaction is kind of shallow because unlike the previous reaction, go all the way, break below the support, or actually go down to test the support level. So this sort of the reaction just to uh, come to about halfway of this trading range. So this is a bullish sign. And eventually last Friday just had a breakout of this uh, previous resistance level. So what I see here is something like probably a minus sign of strength rally followed by a LPS, which is the last point of the support and eventually have this breakout. So the first breakout already attracted some sort of the supply. So this second breakout will probably uh, be successful based on the price momentum and also based on the, sub, uh, the volume level. And another thing that caught my eyes is definitely this relative strength. So throughout last week, we definitely see quite a lot of the sharp correction, especially in the NASDAQ. However, take a look at this. So this portion actually shows the relative strength, which means that it's definitely stronger than the S&P market. So this is definitely one of the strongest stocks and outperform stocks. So in terms of the buy point, I think this sort of the breakout signal can be a great buy point uh, with a stop probably below the immediate support level. You can see that I mark up the support area at about 18 to about 18.5. So somewhere below this momentum bar could be a nice stop loss. And in terms of the target price, let me just uh, zoom out a little bit here because I have marked this up. So you can see that the immediate target price is somewhere around 25 or 26. So in terms of the potential return, that's somewhere around 28%, which is significant. So the duration for this sort of the return will be quick if this is a successful breakout. So based on the momentum and also based on how it moved previously, definitely I will expect similar movement and also uh, very quick. And in terms of the dividend yield, I have sort of calculated uh, for four quarter and I add them up. So one quarter is about 18 cents times by four. So you can see that it's very consistent. And one year is about 72 cents and divided by the price, the closing price of last Friday, 19.35. That works out to be 3.7%. So that's definitely a very decent yield. Okay, 
So before I jump into the next talk, um, if you like and enjoy the video and find it useful, uh, I will just probably ask you to just like my YouTube video and also to subscribe to my YouTube channel because that would mean a lot to me. And let's just come back to the chart and go to the next stop. So next stop is RF, so Regions Financial Corp. So again, this has a very similar structure as the previous stock. I see a climatic run up, created the buying climax, followed by a change of character, which actually defined the trading range. So we see that supply has been increasing on this down wave, so suggested more testing will be happening. So we have about another two tests. However, throughout this trading range, we see that supply has generally on the low side. Uh, it's not very threatening so far. And right after the spring, so let's see. So this is the spring. So a temporary commitment below the immediate support level and followed by a quick recovery up. So pretty much this is an intraday spring. And if this is a true spring, what we would like to see is actually a sign of strength rally. So we can see that uh, volume has been great and consistent. And we see a big spread bar to the upside and also sort of just break out of the previous resistance created by the buying climax. So this is a relatively bullish sign. And in terms of the pullback, it's of a very shallow type of pullback, unlike the previous pullback that we have seen. So in terms of, of the magnitude, this is a very shallow type of the pullback. So that actually suggested that we are probably uh, close to completion of the white cough accumulation structure. And last Friday is just kind of like break out to the upside. And I think it's probably uh, just hit uh, the previous uh, swing high level and that comes with the expanding of the volume so that is a very encouraging sign and in terms of the immediate support level you can see that i have sort of marked up this green box it's somewhere around close to 22 or 21.5 so if we take this kind of the breakout entry i think it will be safe to just uh, put the stock below the support level somewhere around 21 and with the immediate uh, potential target that's right at, I mean, there's a first level, which is 26. And the second target, let's see, let's see, zoom out a bit, that will be somewhere around 28 or about 30. So in terms of the potential return, that will be somewhere around 20%, so which is not too shabby. So if this is a successful breakout, I will expect the price movement to be relatively fast because based on the momentum that we have seen so this is the momentum that i actually expect once we can just break out to the upside and also bear in mind that we also need to take note of the broad market indices as well and talking about the broad market index take a look at this relative strength again it has outperformed the s p index so that is a very bullish stock and is a very outperforming stock Okay, so that's RF, and let's jump to the last stock, CFG. Okay, CFG is indeed has a very similar structure because they are all banks. So in terms of the structure, uh, I've seen this bit of the climatic run up, similar to the previous two charts, followed by uh, expanding of the volume and also the supply as well. But take a look at the uh, magnitude of the retracement. So this is a very shallow type of the pullback. So in terms of the overall uh, uptrend, so this is probably is still not even hit the one third of the retracement. So uh, another bullish sign. And in terms of the expanding of the volume of the su supply level, that probably suggests that there is a supply absorption going on even at this higher ground level. So we can see that there is one spike of the supply here, right below the immediate support level, but that did not come with the continuation uh, to the downside or any type of the follow through to the downside. Instead, what we're having here is a very quick recovery up and followed by a test. Okay, so subsequently it just uh, 
still fluctuating within this boundary, the trading range. And this last point of the support, or maybe I would say is kind of like the localized of the spring because it form a higher low comes with a, a kind of decreasing of the supply but localized definitely there's increase mimic the second point of the fear so if this is a true phase c like i said before what we actually anticipate is some kind of the sign of strength rally so this is the best rally if we compare it to any type of the rally that we have seen so definitely this is the best up wave and that followed by a very shallow type of the pullback. So this is also the most shallow type of the pullback that we have seen. And it did not really come all the way back to test the previously as a resistance, now turn the support level. So this is another bullish sign. So in terms of the strength, I would say that CFG is the strongest out of these three stocks. Okay, so in terms of the immediate support level, I've drawn up this green box somewhere around 46 to 48 will be the immediate support level. So if we just want to chase this or take this uh, breakout entry, which I think is great entry, and I think it would be nice or wise to have a stop somewhere below this uh, bullish bar. And in terms of the volume, we can see that uh, it's generally on the low side i don't really see a spike of the supply like we see before so if this is a successful breakout so what we can actually anticipate is this target price of somewhere around close to 60. so that will mark the return or potential return of about 20 percent so this is a relatively nice return and if there is a successful breakout happening here uh, what I actually anticipate is some kind of the momentum move up like the previous up move. So that should happen relatively quick, probably in a month or two. Okay, so that's it for the video. By the way, I would like to take this opportunity to invite you to join my newly launched Telegram group for exclusive ad hoc market and stock updates for free. So by the way, if you have any other type of the questions you'd like to ask me, feel free to interact with me or chat with me in the Telegram group as well. Thanks for watching. I will see you inside.